Hey, welcome back everyone, Jay Barino here, continuing Celestial Eruption, a custom campaign for StarCraft 1. I almost said Warcraft 3, that is the opposite of what we're playing. Alright, Mission 3, Fata VM, Invenient, a platform in space has recently finished reconstruction. So, I think that there's three parts, yeah, three total parts to Mission 3, because there are those weird add-on missions. So, I think that the first two are cinematic. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's, I think that's how this goes. So, let's get started here and see what we're dealing with. Just outside the Caprulu Sector resides the Terran Dominion world of Duracida. Before Nugdress set his sights on the world of Alarite and the Empire, Duracida was one of the most recent planets to survive a conflict with Nugdress, through the help of its special EDAS Tactical Division and the Narthok, a group of Shadows in Time Protoss who possessed the ability to travel within time itself with relative ease. Using such abilities, tragedies could be avoided, wars could be stopped, and enemies could be defeated. That's sort of the story of what happened in the cancelled EDAS content, we can talk about that later if necessary. When Duracida did defeat Nugdress, it wasn't on their world, but rather the Terran Dominion space platform Genitive. At the time, nothing but a myriad floating junk heap in the middle of a worthless part of the sector. Now it doubles as a historical marker, as well as the first... something. The tattered remains of the Genid space platform out of the, out of the defeat of Nugdress were torn down, save for a small cornerstone where Nugdress himself was supposedly defeated and the platform was rebuilt to begin harboring the trade and war efforts between Duracida and the Terran Dominion. The platform has officially been declared completed for the first day, and the Dominion forces stationed there now have cause to celebrate. After today, however, celebration will be the farthest things on the minds of any of these war veterans. You, uh, think we should tell him? You know what he'll say. I think we have to tell him. It's unavoidable. <sighs> we don't have a choice. Tell him. Tell him? Tell him what? Uh, okay, so yeah, the, the EDAS cut content, just to briefly give a very brief synopsis, and it's very crazy, so forgive me for, for being brief about it, is basically, these time-traveling Protoss came in, and uh, they helped Rond, and they helped Quick, to basically go back in time, ensure that there was no conflict on Duracida, and help Rond save both Tane and 7576. So that's pretty much everything that happened. EDAS is still together, uh, General Skyler... Uh, he signed a peace treaty with the rest of Duracida, so Duracida is a whole planet still, Edas is still around, and uh, Rond is a powerful Templar now, who still has Tane and 7576 hanging around. So that's what happened in the cut content, I encourage you to read it for yourself, because it's much more in-depth, but we may need to know these things as we move forward. Uh, Joe Klein helped out uh, Quick and Rond as well in these, in these instances, who was in Fall from Grace. Genid Space Platform, 0830 hours. Hootie. And there's Joe Klein. Yes, sir, that's right. This platform is fully operational. That's great. I tell you, when we came up here, it was all messed up, but look at it now. A shining tribute to an alliance. I remember when Nugdras and that misguided Protoss Raws, or whatever his name was, they came up here causing a ruckus. We really nailed them to the wall. Aw, oh, heck. The only thing we really preserved from that old platform was the spot where Nugdras was killed. This definitely seems like a cinematic map, so I'm gonna stay quiet for the most part. Yeah, I remember. Uh, well, I don't remember the battle much, just what happened afterwards. We were all heroes that day. Oh man, chicks were swarming all over us. <laughs> Though I never thought I'd join up with the Terran Dominion, but heck, since they gave me the job of taking over this platform, I couldn't well deny the offer. Well, fill me in on our defenses. This is pretty neat looking. Yes, sir. Let's see here. The station is entirely solar powered. Each ion cannon is powered by a 2,000 megawatts per millisecond ion screen, giving it enough firepower to take down a battle cruiser. The platform itself is lined with duranium alloy, with a blade of armor hull, and a whole lot of love. The platform can hold over 500,000 civilians in the event of an emergency, and sir, you're in command of it. Hootie. Hootie! Well, I guess there's nothing left to do, but... Hmm, sir, there's something strange on my readouts here. Oh, oh, of course. Of Is course. This one of the Kerrigan's broods? 
literally just rebuilt this platform. Come on. It's new cross, sir. New cross? How is that possible? Go to four red states. Send out this signal on our frequency. Well, this doesn't look good at all. I can't control anything. This is definitely meant to be a cinematic. So yeah, at the end of Edast, the unmade campaigns, uh, New Dress invaded this platform, everybody joined forces, Joe Klein came in and helped people. This, uh, this is not looking good though. This is also the platform from Edast where we stole the Valkyrie plants. And again, I'm sort of waiting to take control of either the Zerg or the Terran here. Though it might just be all cinematic, which kind of seems that way at this point. I'm not sure. This would be an interesting transition into a macro map, that's for sure. Oh dear. No, we cannot. Yep, this isn't looking good. Sorry, Joe Klein. Oh, dear. Oh, that's bad. That's a lot of overlords. Alright, let's see what you can do. Shoot the ion cannons. Do it. Oh, my God. It's never ending. Ion cannons. Any day. We, we really need those. Ah. This seems like it will be quite helpful as well. Still waiting for those ion cannons, though. I like the heroic music that's happened, too. <laughs> you used exploding Valkyries. Looks like all didn't come prepared to handle our defenses. Reinforcements have arrived. Returning the tide. So we used exploding Valkyries. to signify the explosions out of the ion cannons. It's just little things like that. So Emperor Kaolan might now be fulfilling his plans to move out and dominate the entire Caprulu sector because everybody's fighting each other and this is his opportunity, which is what uh, Michael Michael Dellen told us with the plans before. And there goes the majority of our defenses. We can't stop them or deserve now. Terran forces, stop firing. I have connections to all Terran factions. Go big in, Alaska, Laura, Confederates. Surely one of these groups interests you. Cease your attack. Thanks to your administrations, we were easily able to get in through the Northeast. Surrender now, and I promise a fair interrogation. They have had their minute warning. Don't hesitate to fire on them all. Order all fighters to engage immediately. Please, there has to be something you want. Stop your attack. The Zerg are our common enemy. There's no need to fight. Oh, dear. Fucking Emperor Kaolan just ruining everything for people. Come on. <laughs> I mean, we knew that this was his plan, and he's just taking advantage of all of this. Yep, and they're firing on the Terran forces. Good, good work, Emperor Kaolan. You're, you're blowing it. You're really blowing it. It's no use, sir. Without the ion cannons, we can't hold it back. Our plans to cleanse the Caprulu sector have moved forward unexpectedly, but as fate continues to test us, we will adapt to each loophole it throws at us. We will recapture Captain Lynch as soon as the opportunity presents itself. Hmm. Do you really care about Captain Lentz? Something tells me you just wanted to go forward with this plan, huh? The ominous Dominion signal right there to show that they've been overtaken by the Empire now. And that's it. Yeah, it was. It was a cinematic map. So, 
the way I see it is, is the Empire is just another sort of made-up section of the Caprulu sector that Dessler has created, similar to Duracida, and then those fit in inside of the already existing lore of Brood War. So that's pretty, pretty interesting, and we might see some more custom music on this map. I don't know, I'll try to upload it quickly to make sure that there were no hits, but, uh, Interesting, we have a lot of factions coming together, and sorry for my crash course in the cut EDAS content, but it seems like it's important. If we see Joe Klein, it makes no sense why Joe Klein would be here, but it's because he helped out he helped out the remaining parts of EDAS and Rond to change history. So he showed up, uh, honestly, I don't even remember, but again, you should check it out for yourself if you're interested, but Joe Klein, Rond, Edas, Duracida in general, they're all kind of unified now and work together. So we may see them in the next in the next mission, and I will see you then. I'm just going to put out all these missions on the same day, but I'm going to split them up into separate videos. Bye now.